What's up, Threadbangers? Robin Corinne here. We're in Brooklyn, New York, walking over to see this week's designer. Joanne Berman has a long history in the fashion industry, but uh, I'm gonna have her do the talking. Hey, Threadbanger. Welcome to Boy Crazy. My name is Joanne Berman and my company is Boy Crazy. We do what I like to call subversive couture, which is couture by any means possible. We use recycled fabrics, garments, findings, buttons with some new stuff and we try to make it as beautiful as possible. The victories consist of uh, first well, we had Italian Vogue with Cindy Crawford, then when hip hop started coming to be very popular in the late 80s. We worked with Puff Daddy, Jodeci Tours, Clothes for Salt and Pepper Tours, a Michael Jackson video, we did Heavy D's Clothes, a Tribe Called Quest, Naomi Campbell, Bette Midler, Cher, Boussier for Madonna, and the list just goes on and on. Today, um, we're gonna make what we call the Balenciaga jumper, which is um, a jumper with a woven yoke. It's got shoulders and it's fitted and it looks great and you can wear it over leggings with tights or boots and it's good to go. Still early. The materials we're using today are an old drape, polyester t-shirt, some argyle, an old scarf. The first thing that we do is we build on this yoke. Take this piece of where it's 18 by 16. You just fold it really nicely in half and then fold it in half again. Basically take out a triangle. We're gonna measure down around four inches and here looks like four inches. So we're gonna have a nice um, V-neck neckline. Cut. Like that. There's our neckline a little piece of knit for right here in the boob section. So maybe we'll patchwork some of these together. So now we have a patchwork piece. We're gonna add this piece to the yoke. When you get your seams together, this is gonna be like this. So you just flip it and then you can put some pins. So we're gonna stitch this now. We've got this and we've got this. We can stitch these together. So we have another piece of patchwork and we're just basically making strips and stitching them together and then we're gonna shape it on the mannequin. So this is gonna be the look of it. We're gonna take a one minute to gather this, okay? And we're gonna use a shearing foot. Made for gathering, it gathers everything equally. I really want the shearing just in here. So I'm gonna go from the middle of this section to the middle of this section. I'm just gonna take the whole middle section in here. Put my machine on the largest stitch, number four, and you can crank up your tension a little bit and see how beautiful that is. Now, it goes back on the mannequin. First thing we do is we find our center seam line and we nail it right there. So this T-shirt, I got for a dollar. See this round shape? I'm gonna cut it so it's a little bit on the rounded side. And I'm gonna put it so I make it even. I fold it in half. So there we have that. So now I have this luscious uh, World War II t-shirt and I'm gonna put it right here. This point on the star is gonna go here. Michael's going to stitch the back piece. And then we're going to pin it and make sure that we've got it straight. Let's work on the front again. We'll put this tight. So on, on this mannequin, every mannequin has an armhole piece. And you always leave a, about, what is it, a one and a half inch drop? Yeah. Um, on the armhole for your arm space. So we're gonna add another hip piece and then a band around here and then we're finished. This is you. This is your style. Show off my t-shirt. This is Threadbanger. I have this piece of 
stretch lame. We're gonna take this metallic and we're gonna work with this metallic. We like the sword going along the hem line. We're gonna cut it that way. We're gonna stretch it a little bit. We made it a, a little bit bell-shaped, sort of an A-line. And by doing that, we, we could pull it tight and then we just gave it some ease. We just let it out. The seam is right here. So I'm gonna come up to the side, two inches of seam allowance. So we're just going to stitch this across. So now we have this little jumper that's becoming A-line. I want to be in the, in the back. So I'm gonna pin this here. This we're gonna stitch just like that. This is our one point. So this is called a notch, which is just a little clip so that you know it's an indication of where you stopped. So this is gonna be flipped here, and then we're gonna sew this right here. We want the stretch to be over this part because this part is rounded. So we match the seams and we pin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of chalk, you mark on the seam, and you mark down. Right at this point, at the second tier, we're gonna add some darts. And the darts are gonna come like this. There we go. So now we've got a very fitted look. So we're going to stitch all the way down here. Voila! We hope you enjoyed the show. Peace out. Coming up on Future Threadbanger, more t-shirt recons, more Project Runway alumni, back to school fashion, and eventually a little Halloween. And if you have some show ideas of your own, hit us up at tips at threadbanger.com or just leave it in the comments right below. We'll see you next time. More t-shirt recons, more Project One What more Project One What and eventually a little Halloween. If you have some future shoe I future shoe ideas, send them in because we want to know about them. We got one right here. <laughs>